Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be checking out an incredibly interesting project for Godot and this one is Project Genova. That's J-E-N-O-V-A. All separate letters, no idea what it means, it's never explained anywhere. But what does this allow you to do other than enter the matrix? Well, this is basically bringing C++ scripting to the Godot game engine as a GD extension. So we'll jump here down the features. You've got things like C++ scripting. Uh, in Godot 4, C++ can be used exactly like GD script. You get real hot reload abilities, uh, emulation capabilities. It supports Visual Studio on the back end. By the way, that Visual Studio requirement does make this a Windows only implementation at least for now. Uh, there is a built-in terminal and there's some uh, compression and encryption of your entire code base on export. So if you want to keep your game from being cracked, you can do that. Now I do have to warn you, this project is very early on, but I will show you the basics of it, at least as far as I can take it. And then you can decide from there. So if you want to go ahead and grab it, it's available over on GitHub. So see here, GitHub, it's available down here, go over here and you will find a variety of releases. And what you want to do is grab the version right here, the framework, grab that guy right there and download it. Now you'll notice there's also these custom builds of Godot Editor 4.3. Uh, maybe they'll work for you. For me, they actually did not work. So just one of those things to be aware of, but we've got the required bit, which is the framework over here. Uh, and the other thing you're going to need is Godot 4.4, uh, actually. I tried with uh, 4.3 and it did not work. Uh, so we've got version 4.4 downloaded here as well. And then we're going to need the contents of this right here. So we'll go ahead, extract that out. We're going to need that in just a second. Specifically, you need this Genova folder. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And here we're going to go ahead and create a new project. So come here. Let's start up Godot. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So again, we're using 4.4 right now. Uh, this is what worked for me anyway. So create a new project. Uh, we will create this one. C colon slash temp slash Genova. All right. Genova. Uh, no get done. Create and edit. All right. So that is firing up Godot. I was firing it up on my wrong monitor, so let's just bring that onto screen right here. All right, so we got our very simple project here. We'll just go ahead, populate the scene. We'll go ahead and add a camera into the world. Move that camera back a little bit. And then here, we'll just go and add a mesh instance, like so. And we will create, I don't know, a sphere. All right, there we go. So here is our camera looking at our sphere like that. And now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and save it, set that as our default scene. And then we'll go ahead and run it. So we have a scene selected and bear there. There is our basic template for our project. So Now what I'm going to do is actually shut this down. Uh, that just seems to be the way to go here. Uh, we'll start up a new window over here. So we'll go to that. It was in temp Genova, and then we'll take, and we will paste that Genova folder inside that will add the GD extension that we required. Let's head back on over here and fire Godot 4.4 back up. Now I've had it just stop working at which point I've had to basically do reloads to get things back. Just one of those things uh, to be aware of. So ooh, I don't know what's happening right now. I think it's running. All right. Okay, I swore I loaded it. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, here we are back in our project. Default scene open, and there we go. But now you can see Genova was found. Now, Genova gives you the ability to use C++ directly inside of the Godot game engine, like a scripting language. So now what I'm going to do is come on over here. You can see tools. And what we need to do is open up the package managers. Before this can actually work, you come in here and say, all right, uh, Visual Studio, pick a compiler for it. And I'll go ahead and install this one. It will go ahead and download the compiler that you need. So these are the dependencies. Again, since this uses Visual Studio, it is going to be Windows only. Just one of those things to be aware of. And you need a Godot SDK. Go ahead and download that guy. And presto. All right, so you've got the two required projects right now. This is the point where I often need to do a reboot. So we'll see if it actually works. So we'll go here. Here is our, uh, our object in this, the game world. So we'll come down here. And I want to go ahead and attach a script to it. So you know GD script, how you would normally attach it? Well, now, yeah, okay. So this is where I got to do a rebuild. So one second, and I'll just fire this back up. So I don't know why this is the case, but it seems like after you install the SDK, you need to restart. Don't know why. It's just a thing. So here we are going back into it. So as you're also seeing from this experience, it is a little um, work in progress-y. Uh, so now we've got Genovis installed. Both the tools are here. Uh, now we'll go here and I go ahead and attach a script and now you're going to notice a GD script, but I also have the option to create a C++ script here 
or a header script, which is very cool. So now what I could do basically is add a script to this guy right here, and we can pick the type. So uh, a boot and export default node based so on and go ahead and create it and there you can see our c plus plus script for scripting the game logic uh all here together um and then basically you just implement c plus plus inside of these calls so say on ready or on process or whatever and if you want to go ahead and compile your code boom build your solution uh and it compiles now you can see down here build complete blah 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 this is the uh terminal Part of things so this is the terminal they have added in so seeing the, the build results of the project over here they've also got um the ability to build there as well another really cool thing that this guy adds right now is this i can actually come up here and say export to visual studio pick the version i have installed and the platform that i want to do and have it create a uh, project for us and then we can open this up in visual studio so here we are a full fat visual studio at this point in time and now head on over here. You're gonna see our code, our mesh instance 3D right there, and all the various different methods that are available. And then you're gonna notice here, uh, so like here, for example, there is the Godot namespace with all of the various different classes available there. Everything that you would expect from Godot is exposed. Um, the only thing that I don't get uh, is the programming process. So watching his videos, which I'll talk about in a second, this should give me access to the class, but this class isn't, this is being declared as a non-static member. So I, this is where my demonstration portion of this is gonna fall on its face. And this is where the biggest flaw of this entire project is. Good luck figuring it out from this point. So you can get it so you can create these C++ classes, build these C++ classes. But what I can't actually tell you is how to write your C++ code because there's just a bit of a disconnect and there's no documentation for it. So it seems like it will build the code there's just simply no documentation or guidance on how to write the code. So this is what you're working with. This is, you know, uh, what it is capable of. So all of the stuff that it supports down here, it's very robust. It's just, uh, you're going to have to dig into their Discord server or something if you want to figure out, you know, how to use it. There's no documentation as of yet. He does have these two video logs available, though. Uh, so kind of a rundown of how how he works with this so idea of the capabilities of it but there's no particular documentation for how to go about using Genova yourself so you're going to be uh, experimenting if you go that route now another interesting thing again there's this version of it that's built right down here and for some reason this one will not work on my machine so maybe that will enable new functionality if you use their custom Godot editor instead of using it just as an extension like I've shown here. You also notice that the source code is available. So maybe by jumping into the source code, uh, you can figure out exactly how to work with Project Genova. But again, there is a lot there. This framework that is in place is really powerful. It's just there's this giant disconnect in terms of how do I actually use it now. And if you want to go ahead and check this one out, I would recommend, again, hopping on that Discord, seeing if you can learn a little bit more about it. I know there's a lot of people that like to do their scripting in C++. I don't really understand those people, but this is giving you that ability. So it's a very interesting plugin. I would highly recommend checking out. Just know um, you're on your own in terms of actually figuring out how to use it. Other than I showed you the setup today, so you can take it from there. Let me know what you think, Project Genova, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.